Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Java on your Ubuntu server, which I have hosted on at DigitalOcean. So Java 9 is available right now, but I'm going to stick with Java 8 because Java 9, the production release has not yet uh, done. So it will be uh, like released June or July 2017, and I'm not sure about it. But to, to Java 8 is pretty stable, so I'm going to stick with Java 8 for now. So I, uh, I have successfully installed Java 8 on my local machine. So I'm will be, I'll show you how you can install it to your uh, like cloud server. Let's log into the server first. So you can use a PuTTY or what it calls Bitwise. Or any SSH client to log into your system but for this tutorial I'm gonna use the Ubuntu bash for Windows and I need the IP address SSH root at and your IP address and the you have to give your password for it so there you go logged in successfully so first thing first I'm gonna update the repository for the Ubuntu server let's try sudo uh, apt apt get in not oh, sorry update so here it's updating the old package you can see but it's not going to install the new uh, upgrades available so whenever I always had Ubuntu I used to install the upgrade for the first time very first time I install the system so I'm gonna do that here this might take a little bit time and that also takes some space you can see it's 15 megabyte 15.5 megabyte but that's okay this is fast because I have seen in my local machine it takes around 20 minutes to upgrade the system but here it's it's fast it's working really quick for my convenience I actually copied all the necessary like command on a new I mean in a text file and I'm gonna show you one by one that will work fine there is a warning I guess but that's okay it's not an error warning is fine so let's do install the java 8 on the system that command that i just pasted this is the repo i'm upgrade uh, updating the repository this is needed for uh, if you want to install oracle java 8 like java 8 and i always recommend you install oracle Java because the reason is Oracle creates Java so why not use Oracle Java and it's free but if you need open JDK you can go ahead but that might give you some trouble for long run and so I don't want to do that I always like to stay at the safe side so you have to update it like uh, as soon as you in like Put the repository on the system and now I'm gonna install the Oracle Java 8 to the cloud server I don't know it's not copying there you go so it's taking around 20.5 megabyte of space oh my god I'm running out of space no just kidding <laughs> I have 20 gigabyte space for this uh, the cloud server so that's enough for small hobby project oracle binary code license agreement blah 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 yeah okay yes <clears throat> the reason i'm showing you the another command right here is a sudo update alternatives config java if you have installed other version of java you can select the default one I'm gonna show you what is gonna do so it will be easier for you to select which Java version you like to use
and uh, the next video I'm gonna show you to install the glass fish so I'm gonna use make it simple this one will end up like in like a couple of minutes I just want to make sure that Java is working so let's try Java like if you see all the like processing triggers and everything no like red colors or no errors so you are fine it's already installed it says here Oracle Jerry 8 browser plugin installed and Oracle JDK this is the J this is needed for development if you install JRE you cannot uh, up, I mean you cannot develop application on it so let's see the version number on it which version I have right now so I have 1.8 so it's Java 8 so it's successfully installed on the system and now let's try this so you can see I have only one version and it's already selected which is good I don't want to use thousands of Java version now I'm gonna use because some of the softwares like you know what it calls uh, ant or some other uh, application need like Java home configured on the system otherwise there will be some uh, different kind of error show up so I'm gonna use I mean I'm gonna set up the uh, what it calls path variable so let's try this command which is a nano etc forward slash environment so yeah, this is like you know text editor so you will edit the path variable here so let's try to just copy java underscore home path variable you you can install java like anywhere in the oracle system i mean the cloud server the the, the like space you have in even you can install in home folder or user just lib library folder or somewhere else or opt but i recommend you install it to the place where like java recommend to install in the linux system otherwise when you in, like like working with some softwares or application you have to configure that path again and again that can be really big trouble for me i don't know some people are really cool with that but not me so when you copy and paste that li I mean the address on your new this file the environment file you press if you're in Windows you press control O so press control and O that you will write the change on the file and after that you will press enter so this one is written down on that environment file and for exiting from this environment uh, text environment which is nano I'm gonna press ctrl X so just double check that has been changed you can go check it again so you can see it has been changed just ctrl X to come out from there and if you see echo like type echo Java underscore home then it should show you the path variable but here I have I have seen in Ubuntu my local machine uh, whenever I change the environment it doesn't work right away it needs to restart first so I guess it ha you have to come out from the terminal and you have to maybe restart the system uh, but I'm not sure about it here but it it the path variable has been saved successfully don't worry it, it's working so yeah before you leave guys just use the referral link that I have provided in the description so what it will gonna do you will receive a ten dollar credit and when you spend like around twenty five dollar that will also give me around twenty five dollar credit and that money I can use it for buying droplets or something like that so yeah the link I'm gonna put it in the description and please use the referral link that will help me to make this kind of video more thank you